In this video, we will look at the meeting options for a Teams meeting. Okay, so here I am in a class team, and I'm going to open up a scheduled meeting and look at the meeting options. So here you see I have a scheduled meeting in this channel, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up here to look at the details. Know that you can also go to your Teams calendar here and navigate to the day and time of the event and open the event there to see the details. Since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And here's my meeting details. To get to your meeting options, you'll click on the link here at the top of the screen. This will open in a website in the browser and you'll be able to modify these meeting options. So let's look at the first one, who can bypass the lobby? Right now it's set to people in my organization. That means everyone, staff and students, have the ability to bypass the lobby, meaning they can go right into the meeting and start the meeting even before you do. And so you can change this to only me, which means that only you as the organizer can start the meeting, the rest of the attendees will be held in a waiting room until you admit them into the meeting. Okay, so now let's go down to who can present. By default now, this is set to only me. And this means that you will be the only presenter in the meeting by default. Everyone else will come in as attendees. The difference is, is that a presenter can not only present content, but they can also manage the participants, like removing them from the meeting or muting them or promoting them to a presenter. So know that even though this is set to only me, if you end up having other people in the meeting who you would like to share content or help you manage participants, you can always promote them to a presenter during the meeting. Now, if you have invited specific people to your meeting, as I've done here in the invite field, then you can promote these people to presenters prior to the meeting. So let's go back to those meeting options. And what I could do is under who can present, I can change this to specific people and then I'll be able to search and add those people that I invited to the meeting as co-presenters. But for now, I'm just going to choose only me, and I'm gonna go ahead and save these options. Okay, and that's it. That's how you manage your meeting options prior to your team's meeting.